This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ford F-250 crew cab short bed. Um, it is a 5.4 liter V8, gas V8. It's four wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. And this truck has 44,525 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in El Paso, Texas. Uh, we bring them here. It's on a clear title, by the way, and it's and it's actual miles, 44, 525. Uh, we bring them here. We do an inspection. Uh, once we get the inspection done, uh, we will uh, tell you what that says, which is what I'm going to do right now. Runs and drives great. What do we do to it? We put new tires on it. Uh, you need to know it was stolen in 2006, recovered in 2019. Um, in 2006, it showed 30,000 miles on the Carfax, which I'll show you in a minute. And now it shows 44,000. Uh, so I guess they drove it 14,000 miles and it wasn't a very nice 14,000 miles. I can tell you that. Um, we, uh, it runs good. It drives well, but it's got dings and nicks all over the place. It doesn't look like a 44,000 mile truck. But uh, I'll show you the title that we have in our name. It's actual mile title. I'll show you the title we got from Texas was the actual mile. So there you go. Um, new tires. We put a louver tailgate on it. Um, used rear bumper. Um, do, 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 do. Used rear bumper. Has sensors, but uh, truck never had them. So in other words, what we did was, I'm reading ahead here, used bed. We had a bed that was actually in better condition than the bed that was on this truck, which is hard to believe because this is the bed we put on it, <laughs> okay? It's got dents on both sides. I mean, that's what it looked like. And I don't think, I think that the bumper that was on it was all hammered too, and we had that bumper, so we put that on. But the truck never had sensors. So this bumper has sensors. The truck doesn't have it, never did, okay? We're just trying to keep the price down uh, for this truck. Um, used back glass. That back glass just got here from uh, junkyard. We just put it in. The middle glass was broken out. That's probably how they broke into the truck. Um, let's see. We had to do a new fuel pump, new coolant bottle, and a new battery. Um, like I said, I'm going to walk around the thing. I will point at things that uh, I see cosmetically. It's pretty obvious. My brother will take photos of it uh, for the photo gallery. And uh, you can go from there. Like I said, we have brand new tires on it. It's got little scuff here. We can sit here and touch this thing up all day long. Um, basically, you know, there's no point in that. It's not a pretty truck. Um, if you're looking for a show truck, uh, you'd have to spend more than this truck costs brand new to make it a show truck, okay? Um, it runs pretty good. It's got a new set of tires on it and it's got low miles but uh <laughs> i would say those four see this door down here i would say those fourteen thousand miles were not kind they probably took it across the border ran a bunch of weed in the desert which is what happens down here in tucson also and uh there you go But the good news is, because of all this, even though it's on a clear title, it's going to be real cheap. Uh, it's going to be a very affordable truck. If you need a truck that you don't care about what it looks like, uh, this would be the one. If you care about what it looks like, this is definitely not the one, okay? Got a little thing right here. And the interior is kind of similar. Actually, the interior is probably in better shape than the exterior, but... 44,534 miles on the truck. Let's see. There you go. All right. All right, here's the Carfax. There's the VIN. 5-4, four-wheel drive. History events affecting this vehicle's value. So they blend the Kelly and the Carfax together. They come up with a Carfax history-based value of $19,230. You're not going to pay anywhere even remotely close to that for this truck. So don't panic on that news. I'm just giving you what they say. Uh, there's a VIN for it. No accidents reported. Damage reported. That's kind of obvious. 
Last reported odometer was 30,500. We have a new title for it now, so I'll show you that in a second. Guaranteed, none of these major pro tighter problems were reported, okay? So it's got no title issues reported. It was stolen 522 of, of uh, 06. It was recovered 829 of 19. So here you go, you got 30,000 miles in uh, 2006, okay? And we went down and got a title for it, for wheel kinetics with, actually, let me show you this Texas title first. This is the Texas title that they signed over to us, Texas Farm Bureau. Bureau. It was uh, issued to the Texas Farm Bureau 725 of 19 with 30,500 actual miles, okay? And they signed that title over to Wheel Kinetics. There's the VIN, Wheel Kinetics. Um, issue date was uh, 218 of 2020, February 18, 2020, with 44,525 actual miles, okay? See these little numbers, actual miles right there, okay? Uh, but, but, but what else? So now you've seen the paperwork, okay? Ba, ba, ba. Walk around here. Ugh. Under the hood. The truck. Let's see if the Ford stamps are where they belong. There's a Ford stamp there, so it's the original fender. Ford stamp, oh, Ford stamp right there. It's kind of hard to see, it's got paint in it, but there's the Ford stamp right there. Let's see. Ford stickers where they belong there. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp right there, okay? I would say this truck probably sat in the desert for a decade. I mean, the previous hood was just a mess. Let's see, what else we got? I'm not sure why this has occurred. Just more of going to Mexico. I have no idea what that's about. Seat forward, seat back, seat up, seat down, up, down, up, down, seat on and off. I have no idea why they would do this. Generally, when they go to Mexico, you think uh, drugs and maybe they hid drugs in the door or something. I don't know. Oh, I must have the window lock on. You got this going on here. Just uh, not very pretty, is it? Now that I'm looking at it, the inside kind of matches the outside. Uh, the purpose of these videos, as you can see, I'm not sitting there telling you this is the greatest truck in the world, um, because it's not. It's just a truck. Um, yeah. Go over here. Boom. Now we'll have windows, right? Yep. There. Here's your bin. forward back we had to repair this seat I can tell this thing's been pretty much recovered the driver's seat cushion my guys missed that or forgot to tell me that there's that let's see let's see if the power pedals work nope power pedals in up which is very common I'm so over those things we used to fix them those and tire monitors and backup sensors we just tell people they're broken and we're not fixing them because they're just annoying i have no idea why we ever needed them in the first place there's a wind mirror out in up and down other side out in up and down not even sure if the radio works probably not based on the condition of this radio and the answer is no all right let's see Air conditioning, let's see.
answer is yes. Air conditioning works fine. Alright, get a seatbelt on. Alright, what else? T -t -t -t. Tow haul, this button here, see it on? There. There's that. Info, engine temp okay, transmission temp okay, oil pressure okay, brake fluid level okay, all doors closed, fuel cap secure, 107 miles to empty, system check complete. All right, neutral, but a four low. There's four low, low range. Let me turn the air off, it's hurricane in here. And yeah, we'll go to drive. I gotta back up over the uh, sensors here for the gate. There you go. Yeah, I guess I was close enough already. It's moving. That's in four low. Okay. Now we'll go to neutral. We're gonna go to four high. Now the low range goes away. Now we're in four high. Out the gate. The reverse in four high. Perfect. Neutral. Two wheel drive ready to go all right if you come to Tucson to drive this truck home you will pay the following you will pay your state tax rate whatever that is plus our city of 2.7 percent and a 250 dollar dock fee if you pay by wire and ship out of state all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it there'll be no tax no dock fee nothing if you are gonna pay by wire and ship out of state once we receive full payment we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address we will uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Uh, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you. Uh, the title will already be in the mail when the truck shows up by your shipper. And you'll just go to Motor Vehicles and get plates. It's very simple. Um, if you need any help with shipping, please let us know at the time of uh, purchase. And we will... Uh, have Joey hook you up. Uh, he can either just give you advice. You can do it yourself, obviously. Um, or he could do it for you. There's all kinds of ways to go here, okay? Um, what else? Deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in. Uh, more than one person is probably looking at this vehicle at a time. About 800 to 1,000 people see every single vehicle in our inventory every day. So there's a chance somebody's putting in a deposit at the same time. Obviously, the computers know who hits send first. So if you really are interested in the truck, please be that person so that there's no drama or anything like that. Um, what else? Last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy zip code. We don't have a lounge we don't have an attendant and scones and game room they got all that shit at the auto mall over there okay it's about a mile east of us um when you buy a vehicle from the auto mall dealerships you're paying for all that stuff i know exactly how that works okay you are paying for it um they also know that if they sold you this truck at the auto mall uh that you would uh bring it you'd be able to bring it in and get it repaired if it breaks they charge you for that too. About 500 bucks of their price at the auto mall is just for future repairs in case you show up with something broken, okay? Um, we don't charge you for that either because we're not doing that. We give you these brutally honest uh, videos, uh, uh, assessments, information, car facts, title, so that you can uh, make an informed decision. Uh, we are not trying to uh, fool anyone, get over on anyone. Uh, we're telling you that on day one, you're the owner, regardless of what happens, when it happens. If it's the day you buy it, five minutes after you drive away, something breaks, you're getting it fixed, okay? Um, that's just how we roll. It's how we treat every single car in our inventory. Uh, that way you can save the most money. You know, you're saving money because it's a theft recovery. You're saving money because somewhere along the line, it sat for a long, long time. And... Uh, you know, time is not kind to vehicles. <laughs> the interior of this car got torn up. The, it's got dings and dents and nicks and stuff everywhere. Um, but it does have a brand new set of tires, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's clean now. Uh, but uh, anyway, I think that's about it. Um, 
please go through the ad know what you're buying understand what you're buying if you don't don't get involved there's plenty of people who want this truck what we need is the right person in the truck we don't need to sell the vehicle to somebody who doesn't understand how we operate or how things work or you know that that's all anyway uh friday afternoon thank god i am done for the week thank you for your time